Hi dancers, it's Miss Allie and I am here to read you a little story. This story is called Ballerina Rosie. So let's lay back and get cozy and get reading. Everyone called her Rosie Red Curls, but inside she was just Rosie. And more than anything, Rosie loved to dance. Every morning before breakfast, Rosie would practice with Bear. Next, she'd slide down the stairs, her toes always pointed. Finally, she'd twirl around twice and try not to fall over. On the way to school, Rosie would skip all the way. I'm a star, she would tell her mother. Rosie wore her ballet tutu everywhere. You see all the places she's wearing her ballet tutu? On a rocking horse, in the rain, at baseball practice. Her tutu was great for tree climbing, and the tree branches Rosie made crowns from the rhododendron twigs she found on the ground. There she is, hanging upside down. At night, before Rosie went to sleep, Rosie's mother read her storybooks from when she was a little girl. The Nutcracker, Swan Lake, and Sleeping Beauty. Rosie longed to dance them all and fell asleep dreaming of her life to come. There she is, dreaming away as a ballerina. One morning, Rosie made her entrance to breakfast with a thud. Rosie, dear, said her mother, I think it's time for ballet school for you. Her mother said, Rosie, if you work hard, you will find your special talent. That is what you love doing most and what makes your heart smile. Rosie was sure it was dancing. She knew she was a prima ballerina waiting to be discovered. On Saturday, Rosie and her mother arrived at the Hearst Lodge Dance School. Rosie couldn't believe she was so lucky as to get out of her chores to go to dance class. Here she is going to dance class. Hello, I am Madam Natalie, said a tall, thin lady whose dress rustled when she walked. Rosie thought she smelled like lavender. She seemed nice. I am going to call you Rosie Red Curls, just like your mom does, Madam Natalie said. Here she is with her brand new dance teacher. Back straight, girls, heads high, toes pointed. One, two, three, one, two, three. Rosie pushed her shoulders back and held her head high, but in the long dance mirror, she looked like a wilted flower. <gasps> She's trying so hard. Crash! Rosie's foot was twisted and she tripped into Francesca. Rosie Red Curls, point your feet, Madam Natalie directed. One, two, three, four. Uh-oh, there she is, crashing into her friends. But try though she might, Rosie seemed to have lost her talent for dance, or at least that's how she felt. She never had a misstep practicing at home with Bear. Uh-oh, she's not feeling great. During school on Monday, Rosie made sure she had perfect posture, just like the prima ballerinas. She took small, ladylike steps everywhere she went. She crossed her ankles daintily when she sat in the lunchroom. By the end of the day, Rosie was exhausted. I never thought being a star ballerina would be this hard, she told her friends. See, there she is, feeling a little bit sad. The next Saturday, Rosie and her mother arrived at Hearst Lodge Dance School. Today, ladies, we will work on your foot possessions. First, second, and third. There she is at the ballet bar. The following Saturday, it was plie. The next week was the pirouette. And the week after that was the arabesque. At home, Rosie thought she'd never dance like a prima ballerina. Rosie didn't practice with Bayer anymore. She didn't twirl and didn't skip. <gasps> Rosie didn't want to dance anymore. She was sad. Oh, no, look. Bear is so sad, and even her dog is sad. On Saturday morning when Rosie woke up, for there was a pink box at the bottom of her bed for Rosie Red Curls from a special friend. Hmm, what do you think is in the box? Inside it was a beautiful pair of red ballet shoes with lovely red ribbons. Rosie couldn't wait to try them on. Look, oh my goodness. In class, in her new shoes, Rosie did a perfect plie and a graceful arabesque. There she is. Can you show us your plie and your arabesque? 
and she was the best in the class of the pirouette. Bravo, Rosie, said Madame Natalie. There she is, doing her spin. Can you practice your spins, too? It was then that Rosie noticed that her new shoes were just like the red shoes in the photograph Madame Natalie had on the piano. <gasps> Look, there she is looking at the photo, and there's all of her classmates dancing. Madame Natalie, my shoes are just like the ones in the picture, she said quietly after class. Yes, Rosie, that is a picture of me. Those ballet slippers were a gift to me when I was your age, and I wanted you to have a pair just like them. Thank you. I am a much better dancer in them, Rosie said. You were always a talented dancer, Rosie. You just needed practice and confidence. That comes from inside you, not from your shoes. There she is. Okay, thank you, Madame, said Rosie. And she did her best curtsy ever. Look at that. She did such a good job dancing. Can you show us your curtsy? I hope you enjoyed our story time today, dancers.